In a dramatic leap forward for global aviation, the Embraer C-390 Millennium has burst onto the scene. This groundbreaking aircraft has redefined the possibilities of mid-sized cargo transport. With its unmatched versatility, the C-390 has not only revolutionized airlift operations, but has also set a new standard for speed, efficiency, and operational reach. As nations scramble to integrate this technological marvel into their fleets, the C-390 is proving to be a game-changer on the world stage, showcasing its extraordinary potential in high-stakes missions from disaster relief to strategic military deployments. The Embraer C-390 Millennium is rewriting the rules of air transport. The Embraer C-390 Millennium, a medium-sized, twin-engine, jet-powered military transport aircraft, stands as the most substantial creation by Brazilian aerospace giant Embraer. The project took flight in the mid-2000s, initially inspired by a conceptual offshoot of the E-190 jetliner, with aspirations to rival the Lockheed C-130 Hercules in size. Embraer set its sights on using turbofan jet engines instead of turboprops. Backed by the Brazilian government and the Brazilian Air Force, the endeavor gained momentum. In May 2008, the government committed $440 million to its development, followed by a $1.5 billion contract for two prototypes in April 2009. At the 2011 Paris Air Show, Embraer unveiled plans for a stretched civilian freighter variant. Strategic partnerships soon formed with aerospace giants like FADA, ENAER, OGMA and Boeing. On February 3, 2015, the Embraer C-390 Millennium took to the skies for the first time, marking the maiden flight of its initial prototype. By September 4, 2019, the first production model was officially delivered to the Brazilian Air Force. Later that year, during the Dubai Air Show in November 2019, Embraer introduced the aircraft's new name for the global market, C-390 Millennium. Since then, the C-390 has attracted several international customers, including the Portuguese Air Force, Hungarian Air Force, and the Royal Netherlands Air Force. Designed for versatility, the C-390 can be configured for a range of missions, from troop, VIP and cargo transport, to specialized operations like aerial refueling. It boasts a payload capacity of up to 26 tons, capable of carrying two fully tracked M113 armored personnel carriers, a boxer armored vehicle, a Sikorsky H-60 helicopter, or 74 litters with life support equipment. The aircraft can also transport up to 80 soldiers or 66 fully equipped paratroopers and perform airdrops of loads up to 19 tons. In the early 2000s, Embraer embarked on the development of a medium-sized transport aircraft. Initially, the company explored a high-wing design derived from its E-190 jetliner. Between 2005 and 2007, Embraer examined the possibility of combining the E-190's wing and GE CF-34 engine with a cargo-modified cabin, incorporating features such as a rear ramp, a closed-loop fly-by-wire system, and synthetic vision technology. By 2006, Embraer's focus shifted to a military tactical transport aircraft, aiming to match the size and capabilities of the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. This new design was envisioned to be powered by jet engines in the 17,000 to 22,000 pound force, 75.6 to 98 kilo Newton range, such as the Pratt and Whitney PW 6000 or Rolls-Royce BR 715. In April 2007, Embraer officially announced its intention to develop a medium-sized airlifter designated as the C-390. The aircraft was planned to integrate many technologies from the Embraer E-Jet series and feature a rear ramp for versatile cargo operations. The only thing standing in their way was financing. As we mentioned, by March 2008, the Brazilian government committed approximately $33 million to kickstart the project. Concurrently, the Brazilian Air Force was finalizing an initial purchase agreement for 22 to 30 units, while Embraer engaged with potential partners. In May 2008, the Brazilian Congress approved $440 million for the project's development. During this period, 
Reports suggested that the aircraft would serve the Brazilian Air Force, Army and Navy, with potential additional sales to other government entities still under consideration. Then, roughly a year later, Embraer secured a $1.5 billion contract to develop and produce two prototypes of their new transport aircraft. This marked the official launch of a program featuring an entirely new design with updates to the fuselage, wing, flight deck and engine selection. The decision was made to move away from the E-190's wing due to its limited surface area. The new aircraft was envisioned as the operational successor to the Brazilian Air Force's C-130 fleet. Embraer opted for a jet engine known for its resilience to dust ingestion, an advantage over the more vulnerable propeller tips of conventional aircraft. For engine selection, Embraer chose the IAE V2500, prioritizing efficiency under standard operating conditions, rather than performance in extreme environments, such as those encountered by the Antonov An-32. In March 2010, Embraer established a development timeline for the C-390, targeting the delivery of the first prototype by late 2014. By July 2010, during the Farnborough Air Show, the Brazilian Air Force announced plans to order 28 C-390s, while Embraer revealed an increase in the aircraft's cargo capacity to 21 tons, 46,000 pounds. At the 2011 Paris Air Show, Embraer unveiled plans for a stretched variant of the C-390 aimed at the civil freighter market, with an anticipated launch around 2018. The company projected receiving 200 to 250 orders over the next decade, with the new design incorporating two fuselage plugs fore and aft of the center section to enhance internal capacity and add a side cargo door. By April 2011, Embraer estimated a global requirement to replace 695 military transport aircraft within the coming decade. In August 2010, an agreement was signed by the defense ministers of Chile and Brazil, bringing the Chilean aircraft manufacturer Inair into the C-390 development team. That same month, Argentine defense minister Nilda Garay announced Argentina's participation in the program. By September 2010, Colombia joined the C-390 initiative, and on September 10, 2010, Portugal's defense minister signed a letter of intent to participate. In December 2011, Brazil and Portugal established a defense partnership with Empresa de Engenharia Aeronautica, EEA, to develop engineering data for the C-390's components, which were to be manufactured by Embraer's Portuguese subsidiary, OGMA. April 2012 saw Boeing and Embraer enter into a cooperation agreement, which was expanded in June 2013 when Boeing agreed to market the C-390 in the US, UK and Middle East. Building on these agreements, November 2019 announced the formation of a new joint venture, Boeing-Embraer, defense to promote and explore new markets for the C-390 millennium. The joint venture was to be split with Embraer holding a 51% stake and Boeing 49% pending regulatory approvals and closing conditions. However, by April 2020, Boeing terminated the planned joint venture. This did nothing, however, to halt the development of this aircraft's astounding specs. The Embraer C-390 Millennium is a state-of-the-art transport aircraft that exemplifies modern design and versatility. Operating with a crew of three, comprising two pilots and one loadmaster, this aircraft is engineered to handle a wide array of mission profiles with remarkable flexibility. Its impressive payload capacity of 26,000 kilograms allows it to support diverse operational needs. The C-390 can transport up to 80 troops or 66 paratroopers, carry 74 stretchers with eight attendants, or accommodate a variety of cargo configurations, including seven 463L master pallets or six 463L master pallets with 36 troops. The aircraft features a robust build with a length of 35.2 meters, a wingspan of 35.05 meters, and a height of 11.84 meters. It is powered by two IAE V2500 E5 turbofan engines, each delivering 139.4 kilonewtons of thrust which contribute to its exceptional performance. 
the C390 can achieve a maximum speed of 988 km per hour and cruise at 870 km per hour with a stall speed of 193 km per hour. Its range varies depending on payload, offering up to 5,020 km with a 14,000 kg load, 2,720 km with 23,000 kg, and 2,000 km with a full payload of 26,000 kg. For longer missions, its ferry range extends from 6,240 km to an impressive 8,460 km when equipped with auxiliary fuel tanks. The hold of the C390 measures 18.5 meters in length, 3 meters in height, and 3.4 meters in width, providing ample space for diverse cargo types. The aircraft's service ceiling reaches 11,000 meters, allowing it to operate effectively across various altitudes. In terms of avionics, it boasts Rockwell Collins Proline fusion systems, which enhance its operational capabilities. The C-390 is equipped with advanced features, such as an in-flight refueling system, a dual HUD system, and sophisticated self-defense systems, including RWR and chaff and flare dispensers. Its cargo handling systems include the continuously computed drop point for precise airdrop calculations and the container delivery system for efficient cargo deployment. Additionally, the aircraft integrates the low-velocity airdrop delivery system and an emergency electric power generator system, ensuring reliability and performance across a range of missions. The C390 Millennium's design reflects a commitment to flexibility, efficiency and cutting-edge technology, making it a valuable asset for both military and civilian operations. All of this was first featured in their astonishing test flights. To advance the C390 Millennium's development, Embraer decided to build two prototypes for its test program. On October 21, 2014, the first prototype, PTZNF, was unveiled at Embraer Defense and Security Plant in Gavillon Peixoto, São Paulo. The aircraft made its maiden flight on February 3, 2015. In July 2015, Embraer announced a two-year delay in the flight testing program due to the Brazilian currency devaluation and government budget cuts. Despite this setback, a second test flight occurred on October 26, 2015 at Gavion Peixoto. By February 2016, the first prototype had accumulated over 100 flight hours. The flight testing program resumed with expectations to certify the C390 by 2017 and commence deliveries in 2018. During the eight-month gap between flights, ground vibration tests and evaluations of the avionics, mission systems, landing gear and flight control systems were conducted. Testing included assessments of speed, Mach number, altitude and various aircraft configurations. The second prototype, PTZNJ, was completed in March 2016 and had its first flight in April 2016. By then, estimates from the Teal Group placed the C-390's price at $50 to $55 million, making it $15 million less expensive than the competing Lockheed Hercules. On October 17, 2017, the first prototype experienced an uncommanded descent from 20,000 feet to 3,100 feet at a rate of 4,500 feet per minute. By December 2017, the two prototypes had accumulated over 1,500 flight hours and 40,000 hours of laboratory testing. Initial operating capability was achieved with full operational capability anticipated in 2018. On May 5, 2018, PTZNF ran off the runway during a ground test in Gavion Peixoto. The first production C-390, the third aircraft built including the prototypes, made its debut flight on the 6th of October 2018. The C-390 received Brazilian Civil Type Certification on October 23, 2018. By then, the aircraft had logged 1,900 flight hours during testing. The first production aircraft was scheduled for delivery to the Brazilian Air Force in the first half of 2019, with military certification expected by the end of 2019. The third aircraft, PTZNG, was repurposed for certification efforts. 
In February 2021, a single KC-390 was sent to the US by Embraer and the Brazilian Air Force for extreme cold weather testing. The Embraer C-390 Millennium has demonstrated its operational versatility and effectiveness across a range of missions and international deployments. Since its debut with the Brazilian Air Force, the C-390 has replaced the older C-130 fleet and proved its worth in various high-profile operations. In 2021, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, it played a crucial role in airlifting medical supplies and patients to and from the overwhelmed city of Manaus. It also provided essential aid following the Beirut explosion and supported humanitarian efforts after the Haiti earthquake. During the Russian-Ukrainian conflict in 2022, the C-390 was instrumental in rescuing nationals and delivering humanitarian aid to Ukraine. The aircraft has not only served Brazil, but has also begun making an international impact, with Portugal receiving its first C-390 in early 2023 and Hungary preparing for its arrival in 2024. Other nations, including Austria, the Netherlands and South Korea, have placed orders for the C-390, citing its advanced capabilities and reliability. The aircraft is poised to expand its global presence further, with potential orders from countries such as India, South Africa and Sweden, reflecting its growing reputation as a robust and versatile transport solution and its capabilities are tremendous, astonishing everyone. By the first quarter of 2023, the Brazilian Air Force's fleet of C-390s had amassed over 8,000 flight hours. These aircraft had not only participated in aviation fairs, but also completed missions across all continents, including Antarctica. Notably, C-390s from the FAT Squadron carried out two air resupply missions for the Brazilian Comandante Ferraz Antarctic Station. By the end of March 2023, the C-390 had been awarded the final type certificate and achieved full operational capability. The Embraer C-390 Millennium is a versatile mid-sized utility transport aircraft designed for flexible operations with its modular configuration. This design allows for rapid reconfiguration of both internal and external setups to suit various mission roles. The aircraft integrates advanced technology and mission software to support its operations. The cockpit features head-up displays and Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion commercial avionics, complemented by an enhanced vision system with four cameras. For in-flight refueling, the C-390 is equipped with wing-mounted probe and drogue pods from Cobham PLC, capable of delivering fuel at up to 1,500 litres per minute with a total fuel capacity of 35 tonnes. These pods can operate at speeds between 120 and 300 knots and altitudes from 2,000 to 32,000 feet. The aircraft is powered by two IAE V2500E5 turbofan engines mounted on its high wing, which features an anhedral angle, slats and high lift devices with a deflection capability of up to 40 degrees. The landing gear includes low pressure tires, 5.9 bar, 85 pound force per square inch, on the nose and 7.2 bar, 105 pound force per square inch, on the main bogies, enabling the C390 to operate from soft unpaved airstrips and damaged runways. With a cruising speed of Mach 0.8, the C390 offers rapid payload transport in the medium airlift market. It can achieve a controlled descent rate of 9,000 feet per minute at its maximum indicated airspeed of 300 knots using extended slats, idle thrust and flight spoilers. At full flap deployment of 40 degrees, its stall speed is 104 knots indicated airspeed. The Embraer C390 Millennium is equipped with advanced fly-by-wire flight controls and active side sticks, enhancing ease of operation and reducing crew workload compared to traditional systems. The aircraft supports load factors up to 3G and features an auto throttle system for streamlined operation. Its navigation systems, largely provided by Thales Group, include an inertial navigation system, GPS, and a collision avoidance system transponder. The Celex Galileo Gabbiano tactical radar adds capabilities such as GMTI, SAR, ISAR, and SART modes. For self-defense, 
an Elbit Systems Directional Infrared Countermeasures Suite is typically installed. An integrated onboard maintenance system continuously monitors the aircraft's health and subsystems. The cargo hold of the C-390 measures 18.5 meters in length, 3.45 meters in width, and 2.95 meters in height. It is accessed via a large rear ramp built into the tail and can accommodate payloads up to 26 tons. This includes options such as two fully tracked M113 armored personnel carriers, one boxer or Brazilian VBTP MR Guarani wheeled armored vehicle, a Sikorsky H60 helicopter, 74 litters with life support equipment, up to 80 soldiers or 66 paratroopers with full gear. The C390 can airdrop loads up to 42,000 pounds. It features a cargo handling and aerial delivery system produced by DRS Defense Solutions. The hold is also equipped with amenities such as a galley, accessibility-friendly toilet, automatic temperature control, and noise and vibration mitigation, reflecting Embraer's commitment to passenger comfort. The Embraer C390 Millennium continues to make waves across the globe. This aircraft has not only redefined the capabilities of mid-sized military and humanitarian transport, but has also captured the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and defense experts alike. The C-390's transformative impact is a story that's still unfolding. What do you think of its revolutionary design and operational prowess? Let us know in the comments below.